but from your side, when you're talking with, you know, different clients, what are some of the most common bad habits that you're seeing people struggle with now, especially since we've all probably had this pandemic fatigue and you've either been stuck inside or struggling with everything COVID related? Oh, gosh, a big one I see, um, especially with school aged kiddos is um, screen time and leisure versus academic balance. So because school is predominantly on a screen, um, there's more and more screen usage. And we know that even as recent technology develops, that kids are automatically kind of starting to get more and more drawn to screen time anyway, you know, video games, TV, YouTube, you know, there's all like the sorts of um, avenues on TV. So then it becomes a, you know, um, a mental training, you know, and a thinking and then an emotional thing too. So, you know, habits are interesting in the way that, you know, they don't just um, affect behavior. They also affect that entire triangle known as a cognitive triangle, which is the thoughts, feelings, and actions. So, you know, we also have to take into consideration the things we start to think around um, when it comes to these behaviors and the things we start to feel when it comes to these behaviors, because they're all connected and they all can, you know, influence in positive and negative ways. Um, so with parents, I see a lot of, you know, work-life balance, not uh, same with kids, you know, with school and leisure, a lot of times, you know, parents aren't really sure how to create those boundaries with work and life. You know, another thing I've, I've been noticing is that um, there's been, I guess, some health habits in the way uh, that, you know, we can, I guess, say are, are pretty positive, like mask wearing and frequent hand washing and things like that. Those are habits that we've formed that we didn't necessarily have before COVID. Um, but on the negative side of that, you know, people are becoming more isolated from one another because they're, you know, fearful of being around each other. Um, maybe they're, you know, talking less and less, um, you know, even on FaceTime, you know, so, so much of uh, communication even is reduced to emails or text messages. Um, so we're really uh, getting further away from that face-to-face -face contact, which we know as humans, we're very social and we, we love that, we crave that um, love and acceptance from people. So we really want that social interaction, um, which is then in turn, uh, I've seen a lot of increased depression and anxiety for not really knowing how to manage social situations when they're in them because of practice or just, you know, not feeling comfortable. Um, and then, you know, that also um, reduces our, our capacity to want to do kind acts for people. So, you know, we don't want to open doors. We don't want to be close to people. We don't want to hang out. You know, we don't want to shake hands. We don't want to give hugs. So, you know, it, it tends to further distance us from some of those um, social and emotional habits that we had before.